So you replace memcached with Cassandra for the, the pre-compute stuff. And that solved the write contention issue. Um, at that point, there's still the, uh, every listing has a, uh, a lock. You have to lock around. Like you, so you have this listing, which is a set of IDs of all of the, the links in a subreddit, right? And you have to modify that. You have to lock around that item, and that's at the subreddit level. So if a lot of people are hanging out in one subreddit, that thing will have a lot of locking going on. So we talked a little bit um, just in, in, in the office hours, I think, for um, Unit 4. So, somebody had asked about in Data Store if, if two users try to register the same username at the same time. Um, and Data Store doesn't enforce any uniqueness constraints on a field in, in the database. How do you, you know, how do you manage that? And my, my answer was, you can either use, either use transactions in the Data Store, which I don't fully understand because I'm new to the Data Store, or you can use memcached, which is you know one of the 101 uses of memcached is as like this global lock. Mm -hmm. um, so you guys are moving away from that. Yes, when you use memcached as a locking service, the problem is is that if you lose a single memcache node, then you lose the site because you can't throw away that node without potentially, like say, say half the apps can't see a memcache node and the others can. So the ones that don't see it decide that they're not gonna talk to that guy anymore and they try to lock on a different set of servers. When we store data on multiple nodes in Cassandra, mm -hmm. it's different from how we store data across different nodes on memcached, which is, correct me if I'm wrong, when you distribute across memcache, you basically hash your key to a particular memcache box, and there's no notion of replication. Uh, yeah, it's it's similar in Cassandra. It's uh, the this node has a key space, and uh, it just happens to go plus one and minus one. And you can do the same. You can do replication like that in memcache as well. Now, were you guys using when when I left? We were using a naive memcache library that basically took a key and said. You know which box is this hashed to, and would store it on that box. And if you lost that box, it would affect the hashing of every other key, which was right. like losing a memcache box was really painful. So we'd replicate memcaches for mostly space. So we had more space; things wouldn't expire out of the cache fast enough, or, or wouldn't wouldn't expire out of the cache too fast. But that had the big downside of that we lost a single memcache box. Mm -hmm. All of the keys would get rearranged. Right. So yeah, that. Uh modulo hashing, uh, we are using consistent hashing now. Uh, and the way that works is it basically builds up this a ring similar to this. And instead of uh, mapping you know, like keys one through a thousand to this box, it actually sort of assigns them to a place on a circle and finds the nearest server on that circle. And so when this node fails, it'll just go to the next one. And so only, like, you know, we, we have 10 nodes, we lose one, only one-tenth of your keys get redistributed. Yeah, so if you were using consistent hashing, a, a, a key might hash to, like, this space on the circle. Right. And if you lose this guy, the key still goes in that space. Mm -hmm. But all the keys over here stay in the same, same spot. Right. Yeah, when you're using modulo hashing, remember we talked about modulo in Unit 6 um, as a really naive um, way to distribute keys. Um, if all of a sudden you go from you know modulo ten because you have ten servers to modulo nine, yeah. only in, instead of losing one tenth of your keys, you lose nine tenths of your keys. That's a big problem. And we actually had this happen a couple times while I was there. Um, you, you lose one memcache box, or or more more likely you misconfigure it and, and the app servers don't see it anymore. Um, all of a sudden, your cache is not warm anymore, and you've got users who are just like poof, hitting the databases pummeling the hard cache, or the memcache DPs, uh, mm -hmm. we call it the hard cache. Um, and all of a sudden, your load profile completely changes, and, and everything explodes. Um, so that was a really nice improvement. 